A logline is the DNA of a screenplay. It is the condensed version of your story. It acts as a compass and helps a screenwriter to keep track of the direction of the story and all the various story elements. There are different ways to write a logline but a simple way is to include the main character or protagonist, what the main character wants or the goal and who or what is standing in the way of what the main character wants, that is, the antagonist or antagonistic force. I condensed and compiled various scriptwriting advice into a tool called the 4FS. The 4FS help you to know what the protagonist needs or wants. Why the protagonist needs or wants that thing. How the protagonist will get that thing. The protagonist is the hero in your story. What does the hero in your story want? Why does the hero in your story want that thing? How will the hero in your story get that thing? The hero in your story should have a friend that will help her get what she wants. The hero in your story may want or need that thing because of her big fear. For example, if your hero is scared of spiders, she may want to get the magical bug spray from a dangerous cave so that spiders will never come near her. The hero in your story has a flaw or weakness which makes it hard for her to get what they want. For example, if her weakness is that she does not like going to new places or doing new things, she will have a hard time going to the dangerous cave to get the magical bug spray. Antagonist or enemy who wants to stop the hero from getting what she wants. For example, there could be a big monster guarding the entrance of the cave so that no one can enter the cave. A brief overview of the three act structure. Act Moja Introduction Introduce the protagonist, hero, antagonist, foy, the goal, what the protagonist wants, the protagonist's fear and the protagonist's friend or ally. Introduce the setting or place that your story is taking place in. Is the story taking place on the moon? In the village? In the city? In an alien planet? In a school? Introduce the three types of conflicts in the story. Man vs. Man, which people does the protagonist not get along with? Man vs. Environment, what is around the protagonist that makes his or her life difficult? Man vs. Self, what does the protagonist not like about herself? Inciting Incident, this is the event that takes the protagonist from her normal world and normal life. It is the event that makes the protagonist want to pursue the goal. It is a call to adventure. Refusal of the call. Even though the protagonist may want to pursue the goal, she may still hesitate and try to go back to her normal world and normal life. However, by the end of Act 1, which is usually 15 to 20 pages, the protagonist should be fully committed to pursuing the goal. Act Mbili Body. This is where the protagonist must deal with the problems and obstacles that the antagonist or foe puts in her way. Make it very, very hard for the protagonist to get the goal. Let the antagonist put small problems or obstacles in the way of the protagonist then slowly put bigger and bigger problems as the protagonist solves them. The protagonist's friend will help her to solve the problems. The protagonist's flow will make it hard for the protagonist to solve the problems. The antagonist Foy can use the protagonist's fear and flaw to stop the protagonist from getting what she wants. Dark Knight of the Soul This happens towards the end of Act 2. At this point, the protagonist is farthest from her goal and seems as though she will never get to the goal. The protagonist may give up and may even decide to go back to her normal world and normal life. In extreme cases, the protagonist may seem dead. However, the protagonist will receive a new lease of life, encouragement and a boost from her friend or mentor. The protagonist may also encourage herself, reaching deep within and drawing from her inner strength. Act Tattoo Ending In Act 3, the protagonist and antagonist meet for a final big fight then the protagonist can win and get what she wanted. Or maybe, the protagonist may lose but get what she needs instead of what she wants. In Act 3, the protagonist will have to face her fear and overcome it so that she can defeat the antagonist.